Hello everyone, and welcome back. Uh, when we left off, we were waiting for some of these honeycombs here. And I went ahead and got this all set up. So, uh, what I've done is I've actually done quite a bit. I want to see if... Uh, Let's go and throw this in here. And I've actually got some pipes going through this. Sweet, it worked. Okay. on here real quick. Yeah, um, unfortunately, I went to, there's like the bamboo forest right uh, next to this prairie biome. I was able to pick up some more jungle bees, but they just was not getting enough uh, items from them so I went ahead and made some uh, diligent beads I believe it is and what we're gonna who is that a butterfly oh hey well that's cool All right, well, apparently I've done something correctly to get a butterfly. So yeah, so I do have these uh, diligent bees here, which have been making the stringy comb, I think it is. Uh, but while it's dark out, because I really don't want to mess with the poison for the jungle bees, what I'm gonna do, so I've got enough of this here, I'm gonna go ahead, make a bunch of these. I'm gonna need three of those, the wrench, some golden pipes, three of those, probably a couple of these, and three arc arctic gates. What I wanna do is I just wanna get this finished up real quick because uh, these bees are a huge pain in the butt. That's not even the right one anyway. I need this one. Okay, so white needs to be, okay, black can be anything, white needs to be bees. Oh, let me out, okay. So I already have a plug there, so I don't have to worry about that one. just the wooden pipe and the gate items and in inventory energy pulser we're gonna go ahead and do that over here anything white as any bees and I've gone too far and I've done it again any bees okay so let's go ahead I'm just gonna need one more plug. And then we're gonna go ahead and set up these last two wooden pipes. Add 
there's an inventory energy pulser. Didn't want to do that. Okay. So these bees are now going to pretty much just take care of themselves when it becomes daytime. Now, the other ones I want to work on are these uh, diligent bees. What I want to do real quick before I get them all taken care of is I want to set up another carpenter. Hmm, okay. Uh, so bronze, bronze. Stack to sixteen. Okay, next I'm gonna wanna make <sighs> I just forget how they do these. Okay, so I need a beelizer. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna need both of these. So, this one is tin. So, I need two panes, diamond, two redstone, and tin. And this one is copper. So, let's go back here. And uh, my quarry, it's finished, the second quarry. So, I do not have anything coming in at the moment. And let's see what I need for 10. Uh, do I have any? I do. Okay. Let's head back here. And I'm going to get that started. some honey drops for that. And some honey drops for that. Okay. 
Okay, so first things I want to do... What happened to that butterfly? Does it only come around at night? Oh no, there it is. I don't think... Oh, I don't want to hurt it. Do I need a scoop? again for a scoop. just totally popped up right before I started recording. They were not here. Where did... go. They don't despawn, do they? Oh, there's the orange one. Scoop? Am I doing this wrong? That's not it either. Oh. Did I grab it? Okay, you have to right click. Okay, so it does use a scoop. I don't know, there was a white one just here a second ago. Hmm, well, I've never dealt with butterflies before, so that's kind of cool. Alright, well, let's go ahead. 
put this all away. And what I'm gonna need is I wanna get, I have these two left. I need two of these, two of these. Probably gonna need way more of those. I made a couple of uh, chests just to be on the safe side here. Okay. <clears throat> so black is there anything? Any bees? Should now loop them around, pop them all back in there, and So now what I want to do is I want to get sand underneath here from uh, where I kind of kind of sort of terraformed this area okay actually I don't want that there I do want a gold pipe there though So let's do this. I have to go get more uh, golden pipes here. Do I have our neat? Nope. All right. Let's put that there 
so I know exactly where it is. And what I'm going to do... Okay, what is that to... 5.30? Perfect. Throw this guy in there. And we want items going that way. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and cover this hole now. So, what I'm going to wait for, because now everything that actually uh, creates the... Um, Propolis will now automatically get uh, put into that ender chest. And then what I've done in the little workshop... And this guy. Oh, he's already good. Okay. What I've done in the workshop here is I've got it set up with a with an Ar Arctic gate, uh, items in an inventory, energy pulser. I got another apiarist here, so uh, items will go down yellow, uh, bees will go white, and uh, black and green are closed. So items will automatically hit this hopper, go through here, and I got a diamond pipe here, so that way uh, silky. Propolis will go back up here, hit this, and go back in. Um, and I've only got one of those, so let's go ahead and uh, take a snooze. Get this back up and going. Okay. Oh. And uh, the Oblivion frames that I got from actual dungeons. I was able to use that to ultimately breed um, those bees I needed. Yeah, let's go and throw half of you in there. Okay, so now these should now run without me ever having to interact with them again. What I did want to do is get this analyzer here. Why don't you check out this queen real quick. Okay, so she's full diligent. Unfortunately, super slow. Um, let's check out this one. She's full diligent. She's not as slow. And lifespan's not as short. So this one's actually a little better. This one right here. Um, actually... Okay. Put 
put you back in there. And uh, one thing I didn't show you is uh, I just kind of put on the glasses here. But if you take the glasses off, they do kind of like have like the little fruit. So if you don't have the glasses, you still can kind of tell. But the the glasses make it so much easier um, to see the mutation. Now, what I have done here is the birch and the oak have given me the silver lime. Uh, so the silver lime trees here and then uh, once I got the silver lime I started getting the heel cherry oaks and I'm not sure um, if that's actually a mutation of well, let's actually look it up and that's an actual apple oak and silver lime so yeah so once I put the silver down, silver limes down that's where the cherry oaks started popping up and if we take a look here it's the silver lime and hill cherries that'll give me the common chestnut or the common walnut and then the chestnut will be the walnut and the hill cherries so yeah, so these are all currently breeding. I may, uh, once I get, oh, there's another one. Once I get a couple more hill cherries, which I can actually just graft the hill cherries off of this. Um, I'll probably come through and get rid of all the oak and birch trees and just make it to where it's just silver limes and Hill cherry oaks. Or hill cherry trees here. But uh, actually, let's take a look here. Because I went ahead, uh, made the uh, arborist chest, which is exactly like the apiarist, except for it's five saplings instead of honeycombs. So you can just use any five saplings. So I went ahead and used one of the many uh, oak saplings I had. It's one of those. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so that is pure silver lime. Saplings are low, average, small. Okay. Sappiness is lower, so it may not do a whole lot. Okay. Let's look at this guy. And that's also low. I don't know if this guy can make. So yeah. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to do for this episode, but I've totally missed, I have no idea. Oh, and, um, yeah, so, this is just to, I got a daylight sensor here, set up to this, to these, so that way when they went off I knew to sleep, pretty much, because I was like, I was just sitting here not knowing what's going on out on the outside. I'd step outside and I was like, oh, it's dark. The bees are not going to be doing anything. Um, also, the only problem with this uh, unstable node in here is uh, it's already spawned two angry zombies. So, they put up a little bit of a fight, but not too bad. I haven't seen that, uh, that other... There's a white butterfly I saw shortly after the uh, orange one, but I don't see him anymore. Don't know where he went. Oh. Oh yeah, the piping. Let's go ahead and just uh, let's just cover that with that. Okay. Well, yeah, I am, um, but uh, I 
did read up on butterflies at one point in time, and I guess they show up when you have like a pollinated pollinated uh, leaf blocks. So it looks like I just had one long enough for the butterflies to start showing up. I wonder where he went. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I could have sworn I saw a white butterfly. I don't know if they just spawn or not. Or maybe I have to wait till nighttime for them to show up. I'll come back. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know, maybe I'll leave, um, some pollinated leaves out, uh, so that way I'll see if I can get more butterflies in here. I don't know what they do, to be honest with you, because I know the bees will help crossbreed the trees. Um, and you can also make items out of them. I think the butterflies might do the same thing, but, uh, I'm not, like, that into bees to start making stuff. So, yeah. Um. So, that's just one thing I never got into. I just pretty much use bees to, uh, just crossbreed and make me items. No, let's pull that out of there. Just so I was now. So, yeah, other than that, that's kind of all I had planned for uh, today's episode. Uh, just a little bit of bees um, and some trees here. And uh, hopefully, I will get uh, either the, the walnut get the walnut here soon and I'm gonna make a uh, a multi farm and uh, once I've got that up and running I will uh, go ahead and see about start making I start getting uh, pumping out chestnuts from that and I still have a bunch of appetite I believe yeah still have a bunch of appetite so when it comes to actually um, getting that up and running, I shouldn't have an, an issue with that. Um, and also, between the next couple of episodes, I'll, go, I'll see about getting uh, the rest of these beehives um, automated, so that way I don't have to continuously come back and do this for these last four hives, I believe it is. I don't even know if I've got enough uh, Arctic gates, because i kind of been adding hives. Uh, let's take a look real quick. I may have to make more. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to make two more. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and get all that running. Uh, hopefully won't have to mess with my bees too much. Um, hopefully get those walnut and chestnut trees going. So until next time, you all have a good day. Bye.